Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series of software engineering course. Today I will cover one of the topic that is software requirements. And as you all know that the complexity and size of the software systems are continuously increasing. And as the scale changes to more complex and larger software systems, new problem occurs that may lead to redefining the priorities of activities that go into the software development. So the requirement activity is one such area in which little importance was attached during early days of software development and more emphasis on coding and testing. That's why software requirements came into existence. So software requirements are the description and specification of any software system. So I would explain what IEEE defines the software requirements first. So IEEE defines a software requirement as the condition of capability needed by a user to solve a problem or to achieve an objective. IEEE redefines software requirements as the condition or capability that must be met or possessed by any software system to satisfy some contract standards, specification or other formally imposed documents. So if I try to make it out a simple definition of software requirements, then it is So software requirements are simply the description of features and functionalities of the target system as the requirements convey the expectations of the users from the software product. And the goal of requirement activity is to produce the software requirement specification in short SRS, which actually describes what my software will do instead of describing how the software system will do. So this is all about the definition of software requirements. Now I will describe what are the types of software requirements. So if I talk about the types of functional requirements, then I have mentioned two types, functional and non-functional. But other than that, we do have user requirements, interface requirements, business requirements and so on. So yes, these further other than these two requirements, user requirements, business requirements and interface requirements that can be further categorized into uh, functional and non-functional means user requirements can be functional, can be non-functional. Business requirements can be functional, can be non-functional. So in today's class, my focus on the types of requirement would be only in the functional and non-functional requirements. And I'll start with the functional requirements. So uh, functional requirements basically describe what software will do 
that is basically describe the software product features functional requirements based upon or you can say identifying the functional requirements totally depend on the type of software user expectations and the type of system where software is used to document the functional requirement it is important to identify the high level functions by reading the informal documentations from the gathered requirements then this high, these high level requirements get split into the smaller sub requirements that means any high level requirements must consist of several function other functions also so let me explain with an example of library management software system. So as you can see, for if I consider one of the software system of library management system, then the functional requirements of any library management system could be the book entries, the book search, the book issue and the book return. So if I book the book search as one of the function, then what exactly we do have? We do have a book search function that is a function and this function basically has some input and we consider one of the input as author name and it gives an output of book details so if i talk about the high level uh, functions into it then these functions considers to be the high level and these high level functions basically split into the several other functions likewise if i talk about the book search then it can be searched by the author name it can be searched by the book title it can be searched by some isbn number or it can be searched by some keywords as well so as you can see whenever we talk about some functional requirement it has some input and it has some output so it is important to know what are the terms that specify these functional requirements so So if you can see any functional requirement can be specified by firstly identify the state that the data has to be input to the system, input data domain, output data, data domain and identify the types of processes that carried out to be input on to develop or to obtain the output. So as we can see, if I talk about this uh, example, then obviously whenever I need to work on this book search, then I should have the book entries into it. So first to hai, that is identify the state at which the data has to be input to the system. So we should have firstly the book entry, then only I can, uh, I can proceed with search out the books. Then we should have input data domain and output data domain. So we have the input data domain and we have the output data domain. Next, we need to identify the process that carried out an input to the to obtain the output. So as you know, might be in this function of book search, some searching algorithms has been applied into it. So this considers to be the process ki how the input data domain converts into the output data domain. So I hope the functional requirements you can easily understand by this example. So next I'll move to non-functional requirements.
so if i talk about the non functional requirement then non functional requirement basically describe the software qualities or software quality attributes of software system and non functional requirement ensures the usefulness and effectiveness of the software system because if non functional requirements doesn't meet the expectation then the entire software system will get useless so the examples of non functional requirements can be the maintainability usability performances scalability and so on these considers to be the software qualities also so if i talk about the example for example if i talk about this library management software system then this library management software system must have some users like the members of the software system and one of the function is the login function right so in this uh, function there could be some this is the high level function and this there would be some uh, sub functions or there are some other functions which is associated with the login function for example the student login the uh, the uh, the faculty login the staff login and so on and the non functional uh, requirements associated would be like security right second can be usability to so security definitely uh, can be related to the passwords those who have access to the library management software can only uh, access the software application the usability basically uh, it is all about how easy to use any software system or you can say user friendly software system the same happened with the Uh, performance of the software system so if i talk about the book search which actually gives me details about the books then i the non functional requirement i am expecting the performance the performance basically tells me the response rate how fast uh, my software system is responding to me how fast my software system is loading the whole book details as per the input data given by the user so this is all about the non functional requirements so as you can see the non functional requirements are associated with every functional requirement but the my next topic will cover functional and non functional requirements differences so the next topic is what is the difference between functional and non functional requirements if i can see the differences between the functional requirements and non functional requirement the first functional uh, the first difference is functional requirement describe the product features and non functional requirements describe the product properties or the characteristics functional requirements generally uh, is based on user requirements and non functional requirements generally based on users expectations functional requirements generally describe those actions with which user work is concerned and non functional describes the experience of the user in which how exactly they will work on a functional uh, can be easily captured by the use case diagrams so what actually how to draw use cases diagram that will be my further topics but uh, it is simple to tell you ki it can be easily captured by these such kind of diagrams but non functional basically are global constraints on software 
uh, software systems so that uh, the res they can result to the more development cost or the operational costs. The next is behavior can be easily analyzed by the sequence diagrams or the state chart diagrams. So these are the diagrams which basically used in the requirement phase only, which I'll discuss uh, obviously in further videos as well. In comparatively, non-functional requirements are totally intangible in nature, so it considers to be the software qualities also. At last. Uh, functional quality, uh, requirements can be easily traced by individual set of programs and non-functional cannot be implemented in single module of a program. So if I talk about the functional requirements, then we can easily trace by a single, com a single component or a module ki whether that uh, component or module uh, works properly or not. But comparatively, non-functional requirements cannot be traced only on the basis of a single module because we need to check the quality of the module as well as the integration of single module with the other modules as well as the entire software system. So yes, already told you non-functional requirements comparatively are critical in nature than the uh, functional requirements because uh, when uh, non-functional requirements doesn't meet the expectations of the users, then the whole or the entire software system are totally useless. So I hope you understand today's lecture on software requirements and its two broad categories as functional requirements and non-functional requirements followed by the difference between functional and non-functional requirements. So if you do have any kind of query, you may write in the comment box, definitely I'll answer. So thank you students, keep watching and listening.